Hey, Arthur. Can, can yes, I have Miss a quick O'Shea. word? Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now... I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. <laughs> you just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. Yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but... Very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train, very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. Come on, then, you miserable bastards. Playing law, man, or whatever the hell you've been doing. I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? Now, I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here exactly? Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll... Passing through the crossroads up ahead. Wind. Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There. You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> Boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? Who <laughs> doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Oh, and I'm going. 
most guarded wagon in goddamn history. How that I know? Yeah, there's a whole lot of them back there. They're still on us. Out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Mm -hmm. oh. yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I ain't in there. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... I... Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? What? what? Tell me what you heard. I don't... Uh, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. All right. Go forth. Low. Go check out the, the barn. Sir. Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go round the back.
Take the left and I'll take the right, okay? You're right on my right. Some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Gwonk. Get out of here. Every man split up, Gwonk. Run quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move.
Sarah going here, Arthur? So, Uncle, don't say it. I know. I disagree. Now, why are you so afraid of a pair of gelding tongs? I thought you were the horse expert. <laughs> oh, hell's half acre. <laughs> oh, hearing him. Oh, oh, my balls. Stripped them naked, castrated them, and fed them to the pigs while the rest of the village was forced to watch. This sulking, it's becoming very tiresome. Everything's tiresome to you these days. You've barely touched me in weeks. What do you want from me? To be treated with some respect and affection. All them out there, they're laughing at me. You think this is the way to a man's affection? Moping and pestering all the damn day? Oh, I can do a lot worse than that. Is that a threat? Another great way to a man's affection. Oh, shut up. Glad! 